Hello out there to all of my fellow gold diggers. This is your girl Frida, also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger. Welcome to my channel where I discuss my life as a wife, mom, entrepreneur, and business owner, all while trying to crush and achieve my goals. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. I am so glad to have you. I hope you enjoy the content and I hope you like what you see. And in the event that you do, I ask that you please subscribe to my channel. I have a goal of I am trying to reach um, 500 subscribers and I would greatly appreciate your help in helping me to achieve that goal. Now on the flip side too, I want to make sure that the content I am providing for you is beneficial to you. So if you feel like you can um, get some value out of this content, if you feel like it's going to help you better your life, if you can feel like you might be able to learn from my mistakes as well. I hope that you will also subscribe to my channel because like I said, I want this relationship that we are having to be mutually beneficial. All right, but let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, today is Fridays. I am participating in my first ever Blocktober and I have deemed Friday as what I'm calling Finance Fridays or pretty much I come to you and I share some kind of financial, personal finance tip um, to kind of help you better your finances and help you better your life, your financial situation, that kind of thing. So this is Finance Fridays. And this Fr Finance Friday, I have an announcement to make. I want to announce and I want to invite you to join me on a no spin week or what is also known as a spending freeze. And that is going to be on Sunday, October the 17th through Saturday, October the 23rd. Now, some of you might be looking at me like, girl, what are you talking about? What is a no spin week? What is the spending freeze that you speak of? No worries, we are going to get into it. Basically, um, a no spin week is where you decide or you choose a, a week and it doesn't necessarily have to be a week. You can also do a day. Some people do a month. Some people even are bold enough to do a year. I am not there yet. Your girl is still on only a week, but you choose a certain time frame or a certain time parameter where you choose not to spend any money. Most people will do um, no discretionary money, so no fun money or anything like that. Typically, when I do it, I choose not to spend on anything, but you can decide, hey, I plan on not eating out this week. Hey, I plan on not um, spending any money on entertainment or personal care, such as like getting your hair done, getting your nails done, that kind of thing. Um, you can structure it however you want. But typically when I do one, I choose not to spend money on anything, including like the gas that I put in my car. I don't Hey guys, this is your girl Rita, also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger. And I wanted to share with you about an app I use to save money on gas. Every time I purchase gas using the app Get Upside, I save a certain amount off for each gallon purchase. And if you use my code Q5G5Q, when you make your first purchase, you'll save 15 cents off for every gallon you buy. That code, once again, is Q5G5Q. The app is called Get Upside. So you might as well save money on things that you're already purchasing. And with these COVID streets opening up, I know a lot of you are traveling more and more. So save money on that gas. Get the app. Get Upside. Put in the code Q5G5Q. Save 15 cents off of every gallon when you make your first purchase. All right. So let's get out there and let's save some money, guys. Spend any money on, on anything. If there is not already a bill that is due, like uh, when I say a bill that is due, I mean like a major bill, like my mortgage or um, my electric bill and that kind of thing, um, I won't spend any money on it. Now, even with those, typically I will still try to plan ahead and make sure the bill is paid in advance. But um, yeah, typically I try, um, unless it's a big bill, I won't spend any money. And that also includes groceries. So I try to do my grocery shopping um, before a no spend week so I am not tempted to spend and so that I can um, plan out my week and you know make sure I can save money now in the past I have saved because it's been a little while your girl used to do it regularly like every month but it has been a while since I've actually done a no spend week I kind of took a break over the summer and that kind of thing but typically if I'm remembering correctly I usually will save at least 200 um, sometimes upwards to $400 I think I average you have to check out my other 
my um, old videos and it tells you like the expensive amount, the, excuse me, the exact amount that um, I would save. But I want to say typically I save between like $300 to $400 um, when I did a no spend week. Now things have definitely changed since I did my last no spend week. So I don't know how it is going to go, but we will go from there. Um, so I hope that you will join me on this no spend week in October. Once again, the dates are Sunday, October 17th through Saturday, October the 23rd. Now I will say this, this week, I am, um, this no spend week, I am going to make a slight exception to my rule. Like I told you before, I don't usually spend money on anything. The reason I am making an exception is because on Sunday, I do have a mystery shop that I am doing. So if you don't know, one of my side hustles is mystery shopping. So I do have to do a mystery shop side hustle um, on that day, which when you typically when you're doing mystery shops, um, some of them will require you to spend money. So I know I am going to spend money. I'm not really counting that against me because anything I spend money on, I'm actually going to get reimbursed for. So, but I will be spending, but I do need to make sure I have money to um, spend for that day um, when I do the mystery shop. So that is the only exception I am making is that particular day when I know I have to do that mystery shop, I am open and willing to spend money for that. But any other times, I'm gonna make sure I have my groceries accounted for, make sure I have plenty of gas in my car. Um, I'm on, usually I have to make sure I pack my lunch or have something to eat or something like that during the work week. So I'm not tempted to go out to eat and get something um, on my lunch break or anything like that. So, and we'll probably have to do like a movie night or a game night or something like that at home. So I'm not tempted to spend on entertainment or anything like that. Now, I also say when you plan out the no spend week, that does not mean overspend in the week before or make up for it in the week after because you didn't spend. So just kind of um, be mindful about your spending. It really, the first time I did it, it really kind of helped put things in perspective and showed me where I might have been um, overspending, so to speak, or just spending mindlessly on things. So it kind of definitely helped me to see where my money was going. So please be sure to join me this week for um, the No Spend Week in October, okay? Now, I want to know, let me know in the comment section if you are planning on joining me or if you have done a No Spend Week before in the past, let me know about that. Let me know how did it go? Did it work out? Um, how much money did you save? I will say another tip is, you need to define your why for this no spend week. So don't just do it mindlessly. Figure out like, hey, if I do this, I am saving this money or the money I save will be used for X, Y, Z. So um, when I did it before in the past, the money I saved, it was put to um, pay off my student loans and things like that. Um, and it probably still will go to that this time around. I'm also saving for some other stuff as well, but I think I am going to air market for my student loan. So make sure you have a why of what you are going to use the money you save for, because if not, you can easily derail your no spend week because you like, what in the heck am I doing this for anyway? So get your why together, know why you're doing it um, so that you'll be more motivated, excuse me, motivated to continue with it. All right, that is all I have for now. This is your girl, Rita also known as the self-proclaimed gold digger. Take care, everyone. Uh -huh.